What is up guys? In today's video, we are going to talk about profit, specifically restoration profits. I have a question for you. If you own a restoration company, do you want profit or do you want revenue? If you want revenue, you don't need this video, but if you want profit, you're going to want to stick around for this video. During this video, we're going to uncover a few things. We're going to talk about the things that I was doing wrong in my company and the things that I figured out that allowed me to start going on a vertical trajectory. Guys, there are certain things that you need to focus on within your business in your one, two, and three during your different milestones. In this video, we're going to show you so you know exactly what those milestones are. And then once you hit that certain milestone, what's next, okay? So I'm going to walk you through the things that we did in my company that allowed us to get level one, level two, and then level three. What is all this? Does mean guys if you want to be able to get to a company where you don't have to go to the office anymore there's certain things that you've got to do i'm going to walk you through the things that we did at my company that allowed me to achieve that let's go If you guys don't already know, I teach something called the 136 method, okay? And that's you, your biggest problem when you get going is you don't have any jobs. You don't have enough jobs. And then once you start getting enough jobs, then you've got to improve the consistency, okay? So you got to get enough jobs, number one. Then you got to get enough consistent jobs, number two, right? Basically, your first milestone is this. Until you have three jobs a week, your biggest problem is you don't have three jobs a week. So you need to focus on everything you need to do to get three jobs a week, okay? Now, there's several things that you can do, but I just want you to know what you need to be focusing on. You don't need to be worried about fighting with adjusters. You don't need to be worried about the average of your average ticket yet. You don't need to be worried about how many trucks you need to have. If you don't have three jobs a week, one truck, it should, like, you yourself should be doing up to three jobs a week and or one helper, okay? So you can't be an owner of a company. You're starting as a technician, and then you're gonna to move to lead technician, and then a project manager, and so on and so forth, okay? What I want you to know more than anything, and this is something that we teach Restoration Profits, is you've gotta hit critical mass. You've gotta get enough revenue coming in before you can turn around and start addressing the other problems in the business. Does that make sense? There's a lot of problems in every business, but there's two that are really big. You gotta get jobs coming in the door, then you gotta get paid, okay? So you can't let those two things dwindle. Jobs come in the door and then get paid, all right? So until you get three jobs a week, you wanna focus on getting three jobs a week. Now, once you get three jobs a week, then you wanna get your average ticket over $6,000 a job. Why? Because three times 6,000 is 18,000, 18 times 52 is 936,000. You got a million dollars per truck per year with water mitigation, okay, with one truck. And so that's what you should be striving for, that's what you should be aiming for, all right? And until you get there, like that's what you wanna focus on. Does that make sense? One job a week, three jobs a week, over $6,000 a ticket. Here's the thing I wanna tell you, once you start to get close to the million dollar mark, once you've got three jobs a week and getting your job average near five or six or $7,000, like you've got enough money now to turn your head and really like start fixing the problems in your business. As you grow, you're gonna get more pain in your business. I hate to tell you that, okay? And that's just what happens. The more you grow, the more things there are to fix, but you're gonna have money to fix it. Do you understand? If you try to fix all the problems in your business too early, you don't have the money to fix it and you don't have enough consistent jobs to turn your head away from the most core important thing, which is getting jobs. Does that make sense? So for that reason, phase one is get three jobs a week, okay? And then phase two, get your dollar average over 6,000. And then phase three, now we're looking at fixing the holes in your business. And I told you guys earlier in another video that I launched my company and our company is called Restoration Profits. That's the business where we help you restoration contractors make more profit. And so here's what I want you to know, like I eat my own dog food, guys. I've been helping restoration contractors do this for years, but it hasn't been till this year that I rebranded the company, made a nice little logo with a rocket on it, right? And announced it to you in this video here. Why? Because it doesn't matter about my logo. You don't care about that. You care about you. Conversely, your clients and your plumbers that you work with, they don't care about you either. They care about them. So you want to focus on them, not you. That's the reason why I didn't spend all this time and energy putting together a website, putting together a logo, because it didn't matter. It didn't matter, okay? I had to spend my time finding you guys. That's I do it with YouTube videos, right? And conversely, when I own my restoration company, I did it by building relationships with plumbers. If you know the right plumbers, nobody else needs to know who you are. I'm gonna say this again. If you know the right plumbers, Nobody else needs to know who you are. Why? Because people call plumbers when they have a leak. The plumber recommends and refers you. They don't need to know you. They just need to know the plumber. Guys, this works, okay? This works. Just so you know, I used to live in this dumpy rental house 
And within five years, I lived in this house. How? I learned how to get consistent water damage jobs from the internet, agents, and plumbers. And that's that's everything we talk about. Now, that, that allowed me to get the money. What allowed me to be able to not go to the office all the time was the systems and the procedures that we'll talk about here in just a minute, okay? So I just want you to know and understand, like, focus on the first thing first, and that's getting the right number of jobs. And I just, I'm telling you that because I want you to know I eat my own dog food. Conversely, my restoration company, we had a horrible logo for the first few years, and then we paid $10,000 to get it all redone, okay? And you don't have to spend 10 grand, but I didn't know any better at the time, and I was just dumb, okay? So I'm just sharing that with you, right? Like, until you're over a million dollars, those things just don't matter in your business. They just don't matter. They just don't matter. They just don't matter. Here's what I want you to know moving on. Once you've got near a million dollars a year of water mitigation coming in the door, then you're going to have several other things that are going to pop up. There'll be pain spots in your business. Things that didn't exist when you were at $300,000 will now be problems at seven and 800000 And that's going to be everything from you needing help on the phones. That's going to be from you needing help with admin doing billing and collections. That's going to be from you needing help monitoring your crews. Now you're probably going to need be needing some form of software to manage your jobs. All of these things, those problems are getting worse. The pain is getting harsher, if that's what I should say. The, the pain is more intense now than it was when you were only doing two jobs a week or one job a week, right? So the more load you put on your company, the more strain you're gonna have, the more pain you're gonna have. And really, until you get to the million dollar mark or near it, you're getting three jobs a week, like, you don't need to worry about those. Now, I'm gonna tell you a good shortcut, a good hack, guys. Um, my company, Restoration Profits, we help you guys do this very thing, okay? And I'm gonna tell you this, you're gonna have holes in your business, your holes might be in marketing. You might not have enough leads coming in. You might not be using enough sources. Like, there are problems, everybody's got them, every single company, okay? And what we do at Restoration Profits is we just take the big pains that we had and we hold them up and we show them. With, it's like it's like looking at your company and putting on 3D goggles. Once I put on my 3D goggles, I can see all of the pain in your business because I'm looking for things that I saw in my business. Does that make sense? And you can't see them because if you did, you wouldn't have that pain. You'd have already fixed it. But that's what we do at Restoration Profits is we come in and we just say, hey, these are the eight things we were screwing up. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. And we hold it up and we give you a checklist. And then we, we help you identify those and fix those right out of the gate. How does that work? We want to make sure that you've got enough lead sources and enough leads coming in. There's the fastest way to get jobs and there's the best referral partners to get jobs. In the beginning, you need fast, not best, because the best may take longer, but you need speed. That's why we recommend that you do the internet. The internet is the fastest, okay? You don't need a lot of skill. There are some secrets and shortcuts to who you need to use, how you sign up for those services and how you answer the phone, right? Those are strategies, tips, and tricks, but like, those are things that you will deploy as you go, okay? Our goal for you or for anybody is to hit your critical mass revenue numbers. You need to start hitting $50,000 a month of water mitigation. You need to start hitting 50 grand a month of water mitigation by any means you can, okay? By any means you can. Why? Because you need enough money to run your company. Remember that five fish in the live well? 50 grand a month, water mitt, that, that's five fish in the live well. And then once you get that there, then you wanna upgrade some of the sources that are giving you those jobs. Because the biggest problem when you hit 50 grand, it won't be consistent, why? Because if you're getting jobs just from the internet or property managers, you're gonna be getting some cash pay jobs, you're gonna be getting just inconsistent months because the internet is inconsistent. The next thing you're gonna do is once you get three is you wanna make sure you've got it from the best sources, plumbers, okay, and agents. You got the best internet jobs, you want plumbers in your bag and maybe some agents. You can do it without agents, but if you want, you can, okay? So, but once you start getting those critical mass revenue numbers, then you wanna make them more consistent and plumbers will help you do that, okay? And so I'll do some other videos on why they are so important on referrals and referral trees. Go into my playlist and look for referral trees somewhere. That video may be out by the time I record this one. Okay, so here's what I want you to know as we come out of this, right? Once you hit a certain mark in your business, there's going to be several things that are going to be issues for you. I'm not going to say they're not all important, but depending on you and your company and what you're trying to achieve and where you want to go, you're going to want to address some of them first, right? For instance, as a business owner, if you're still answering the phones as the owner, the phones are not a big problem for you, right? But the minute you stop answering the phones as the owner, that will instantly be the biggest hole in your business, like instantly, okay? And so in order for you to get off the phones, you've got to put some safety net measures underneath that part of your business because whoever you put in place to replace you is not gonna do anywhere as near of a good a job. They're not 
as vested as you are, they don't know as much as you do, and quite honestly, they just won't care as much as you do either, okay? Quick note, if you use a call center, you're losing a lot of money. If you use a call center, you're losing a lot of money. Don't tell me you need jobs. Don't tell me you need revenue if you're sending those calls to a call center. Even if I was with a franchise and they offered to answer the phone for me, I would want to listen to every call to make sure they're doing it right because I guarantee you this, they're leaving money on the table. They're leaving money on the table. If you get off the phones, you need to be able to audit each and every call and then what you'll want to do is you'll assign tracking numbers. So paper call, paper click will come through this number. Google Maps will come through that number. Certain phone lines will mean more to you than others. And you will want to monitor and track certain tracking numbers more closely. And again, those are just things that I would recommend. That's what we do at our company. And that's what we would tell you to do at your company. And we can help you do that too. Go to workwithshane.com and, and we can talk about it. All right. So, but here's what I want you to know more than anything. As you grow, things that were not a problem will start to become a problem. And conversely, things that used to be a problem will stop being a problem. Things change. What do you mean? How does that happen? Well, remember, like we just like we said, if you're on the phones, phones aren't a problem. The minute you get off the phones, phones become a problem. The other thing is this, one of the other bottlenecks that we see with the business owner is this, once I get you around a million dollars, I want the owner to start getting out of the business. The owner is gonna to start to become the biggest bottleneck if they're not already. And the next bottleneck after you get three jobs a week and you're getting job average up, the next one is going to be estimating, invoicing, and billing procedures and stuff like that, right? You're not gonna be getting them out quick enough. It's gonna take too long. Your AR will stretch out too long. It's just gonna to be too inconsistent. And so the next bottleneck there is you have to streamline the estimating, invoicing, billing, and collecting process. You have to streamline that. And then what we say is this, it's got to be something that's very simple that the owner can get out of and getting the owner out of that is the very next thing. Why? Because that's going to be the biggest bottleneck for quite a while. And that's going to go back to this. How do you want to grow your company? Do you want to add a project manager to replace you? Or do you want to get a coordinator and someone to help you on the phone? Which I would say to do that because you're going to have some admin things. Guys, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to happen in your company once you get past a million dollars. I'm just telling you, not all of those problems are the same. And if you try to fix that pain until you hit the proper revenue mark and the proper profit margins, then you're going to have problems. And if you're near a million dollars and you're not hitting at least 50% margins, like something else is wrong, guys. And that's the reason why I tell you this. You got to get it over $6,000 a job. And if you're not over $6,000 a job, then that's your problem. You got to get over that. Why? When you're doing $936,000 with one truck, there's no profit problems. There's no profit problems. And you've got all the money you need to fix these things. You following me? So that's the first thing. Get there. Get to that number. Get close to that number. If you can't get to that number, let us help you. Go to workwithshane.com. To recap, the biggest bottleneck, not having enough jobs coming in. Then once you get the jobs coming in, they won't be consistent, right? So you want to get the consistency fixed. And so hit critical mass revenue. Get three jobs a week. Get three jobs a week consistently. Once you get three jobs a week, immediately go to get those jobs over $6,000. How do you do that? You improve your billing and estimating. We help you with that. We give you the estimates and the templates. And then number two, you've got to cut out the cash pays. You've got to help improve uh, your closing percentage. You've got to learn how to convert some of those borderline jobs to insurance claims. And then you've got to learn how to bill it effectively, right? You're going to have to learn how to turn a $3,000 job into seven grand, homie. That's what's going to happen. And if you can't, you never will. But if you want to, I can show you how. Seriously. I mean, that's what we do. Once you get to that number, 136, then you want to start removing the owner from the business, okay? For me, I'm just going to tell you estimates, invoicing, and all of that jazz. Because once you get to a million to $2 million as the owner, and you start making $350,000, $450,000, $500,000 return to owner, you're going to want to go spend that money. Going to want to go spend that money. And you can't when you are constantly chained to your desk. It's not a good look and you don't want that, okay? And all I can do is just show you the things that we did. There's different things that you're gonna want to do and you're gonna need to do. And I'll tell you this, before we go, let me say this. You are gonna have to improve, you personally. You gotta become a better person. You have to improve your self-development skills. It ain't your company's fault anymore, dog. You are the owner of that company and it is a direct reflection of you. Do you understand? So it ain't your employees' problems. You hired them. It's on you. You are going to have to learn how to be better. You got to demand more yourself and everything is your fault. Let me tell you something. If it ain't your fault, right? If you're not, if you can't find a way to make yourself be the problem, then by default, you cannot participate in the solution. 
I'm gonna say that again. Everything going on, if you're blaming somebody else for things, there's no way you can fix it. The only way you can fix it is if you are the problem. You have to find a way to make the problem be because of you, then you gotta fix that problem. If it's not your fault and it's not your problem, you can't participate in the answer, and that is not a good place to be. You follow me? All right? So, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. That's our company, Restoration Profits. I'm gonna share with you real quick our mantra, our four little things. This is something I think you need to know and you need to believe. This is what I believe for any company, right? Number one, average sucks. I don't have to explain to you what that means. Number two, comfort kills. Woo, this is a good one. The biggest thing, dude, once you get some money, you're gonna wanna go spend it. You're gonna get comfortable. Do not get comfortable. Staying on top is way harder than getting on top. Are we clear? Staying on top is way harder than getting on top. Why? Because if you get comfortable, you're gonna get lax and you will get knocked off. Ask me how I know. Average sucks, comfort kills, things change. Guys, things change. You always gotta stay on your toes. You always wanna improve. You know the market changes. You know things change just and evolve over time. Just be aware of that. Don't get complacent. Don't get comfortable. Things change, all right? And here's my last one. Do the damn work. Guys, I can give you every secret in the world. I can give you every shortcut and hack, but it still requires the work, dude. It requires the work, okay? It requires the work. Learn to fall in love with the work. Learn to fall in love with the process, and you'll be better off as a result. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you haven't yet, click on my face below and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, we put out new content each and every week. Also, if you want me to help you grow your company, go to workwithshane.com. Workwithshane.com, put in your information, we get on a call and see how we can help you grow your company. Lastly, there'll be some other videos right here. If you wanna watch more content about growing your restoration company, check out one of these videos. We'll see you guys on the next one.